What is up, everybody, and welcome back for round four coverage of the Kensington Open at Strathlorne here on the TGC Tours. If you saw yesterday, new change. Boy, oh boy, big change. I just got done playing a practice round here for round four, shot an 11 under. We'll see if we can translate that into the game for our rounds. That'd be great. That's what we are going to try to do today here at Strathlorne. Before we hop out onto the course, though, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Think about subscribing to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me out. helps the channel out. And I would thank you if you did. Well, let's head out. No more red fast. I think I'm going to play this how I would actually play a round. We're not going to test anything out. We're going to be laying up some. We're going to be going for more birdies over anything. So let's head out to the course. See what we get. Round number four. We are donning the red. Donning the red. Here we go. Hopefully the shot works today. That's not gonna be good. This might make it to the water. Hopefully the rough stops it. The rough will stop it. All right. Whew. Got a little worried there for a second. Just a quick second. We'll get this up here, though, and uh, hopefully get it close for a nice little birdie. Pitch shots? We haven't hit many of them. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to have to do one here. But boy, oh boy, if you read fast a pitch shot now, it is death, which I'm sure you have probably seen during your playtime. Great fast, perfectly fine. Get in the hole. Oh my god, why can't you just reward me? Huh? Come on. We'll take a birdie. Why can't why can't it just reward me? Just reward me, that's all. That's all I need you to do is just reward me. So if you could please do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you, game. Up front. No? Asking politely. We're going to try to cut this wind out just a touch. Great fast. She's going to get a little bit extra. If we can get down this hill, that'd be fine, though. That'll work. That'll work. All right, let's see if we can make some putts. Putting kind of failed me yesterday, so... Let's see if maybe it can not fail me today. <laughs> of course. Of course. I shouldn't even said anything. I shouldn't even said anything. A little bit slower greens, too, so I probably could have hit that a little bit firmer. God dang it. Of course. It never fails. It really never fails. I guess overall the good thing too, the more I use this, like that is a slight red fast and we still went 275, which I think is good. It's just the ones that are really punished are the, you know, the, like the very fast shots. And uh, I think that's how it should be at the end of the day. Oh, dang. Don't red slow it too often. When I do, boy, it's a bad time to do it. All right. All right, let's see what we get here. 52. Okay. Key is gonna come at the end and whether this comes back right. Pulled it. God, I pulled it. Ah, oh, 
God dang it. Again, I feel like I should be two under right now. I can't believe I missed that putt on two. All right, see if we can get a good one up here to go for this. Touch is slow. It might work its back weights back towards the fairway. It does. All right. That was a good thing. I kind of prepared for that. Slowed my swing down a little bit because the last thing I wanted to do right there is fast it. So it actually worked out pretty nicely. Uh, what we don't want to do is do that here. Honestly, I mean, bringing this 3-iron in might not be a terrible decision because we're going way downhill. Like At the end of the day, it's probably going to end up landing right around here. If I could just get this on the green, I would be that would be great. I just don't want to... We take this in 245. Like, we have a really good chance of, of hitting a very bad, bad shot past the hole, which is we definitely don't want to be past the hole, so... Yeah, if I can just get it down. I thought I was going to go a little bit further than that. Uh, so that's a little disappointing. But that's okay. We can still recover nicely for a birdie here. Which at the end of the day is the name of the game. We are going for birdies. We want all birdies. We we can avoid if we can avoid blow up holes like that, I we'll shoot fine. You know, what happened yesterday, you know, the two bogeys that I got, the big bogeys, was because, you know, went for it. We went for it and you know, we got punished for it. So we just have to avoid that today and I think we uh, I think we easily can we can put up a little bit better of a score this time around uh, like I said I shot pretty good in practice so this is where the kicker comes in though these partial shots because I can't fast them too much hopefully not at all because that's what happens. That wasn't a bad fast, though. This might actually make its way back onto the green. So, at the end of the day, that's actually... That's actually fine-ish. We're on the... We're on the, the putting surface, at least. Although, this putt's gonna be pretty long. But, at least we're on the putting surface. But, the partial shots is where I'm gonna have to, uh... Definitely... Either change a bag up, or practice some more. Nineteen, twenty, thirty, ninety. Okay, ninety-two, ninety-two. Wait, nineteen, ten, twenty-nine, A little too much, a little too much, coming off that big hill. Still all right though, we'll save our par. We will save our par. Two under. Let's keep her moving. We definitely gotta shoot better than we did yesterday, that's for sure. Man, here's one of those things where it's like, it's 46 down, but we also have like a 11 mile an hour wind in our face, so maybe I pop this, pop this four iron up a little bit into that wind. Every time I think that, though, the wind carries it even more, though. Or not carries it, but kills it even more. Mm, not ideal. This will stop, though. That actually would have been probably 
fairly good distance if we didn't gray fast it. I think this is the exact same place I was yesterday. One, twenty-three, six, twenty-nine, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-seven, uh, thirty-nine, right at the end. So we gotta take this nineteen and a half. Okay, we're adding fifteen to this, so sixty-eight. Oh, nope, we're going to be hitting a little bit of a heavier break here. So I should probably do one, two, we'll do four more because we're hitting a little bit of a heavy break here about halfway through than we would have on the line that we're on. This might still end out right. It did just a touch. That was a fairly, fairly, fairly good line on that, though. <clears throat> All right, iron on tempo, or iron tempo is killing us right now a little bit. Try to work that out. This is the one thing that needs to be changed, because that should have been eight alive. That should have been eight alive. Four iron coming out of the wind. No, we gotta try to partial this again. All right, Let's see if maybe I can hit a partial iron. Better. Oh, this might be too hard. Stop it, stop it on this hill. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yes, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Great recovery. Okay, can we please make a putt? Maybe? You know, just maybe? Maybe can we make a putt? Can't miss these eight footers, you know? Okay, we make a putt. Oh, gosh. Three under? Not too shabby. I'll take it. A little bit harder conditions today as well. I'll take light rough. It's not. God dang it. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but. At the end of the day, I'll take it. Really wanted that to roll down here to the right. That would have been the absolute ideal. He did not get that, though. I didn't want that. We had a pretty bad lie there. I should have put that over way more left, by the way. Depends on how much this breaks in like the first 20 feet here. Where's it at? There it is. Didn't break enough. Didn't break enough. All right. I got to remember that. Store that in the memory banks. Let's 
Store that in the memory banks. We have a similar putt to that here in the remainder of this round. That actually might be my, is that my first perfect drive of the day? Huh, I think it might be. At least, when I say today, I mean the tournament. When should eat this up enough? Yeah, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wonderful. Alright. Gives us a good shot at another birdie, as long as I can make the putt. Wonderful. That's a good way, that's a good way uh, to end out the front there. Nice little four under. We've stayed out of trouble too. Back nine's usually a little bit harder for me though, so this should be quite interesting. Hopefully it turns out all right though. Slight red fast, we can live with it. This shouldn't get into the rough. I was about to say, this should work back. This should work back for us. And it did. Thankfully. Didn't get as far right as I was hoping, but this will still, this will still work for another birdie opportunity here. Oh, are you breaking at my feet? I think you are a touch. So we gotta be careful about that. I'm gonna play this, I'm still gonna play this outside cup here. Or just inside cup, sorry. Now we're good, all right. It did. It started off a little, little right at the feet. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, another birdie. Five under. Here in round four. Let's try not to get into trouble here. Another slight red fast. Again, we can work with it. The problem is going to be coming into this green. Because we're coming into this green with this. Do I want to do that though? I'd feel a lot more comfortable coming in with a with a four iron. Dang it! I was actually playing as if I might actually get a partial fast there. We should have just went with it. Ooh, slowed it. All right, this could be our first bogey. This is a tough hole period, especially with the wind in your face. Okay, gotta go six, 27. All right, let's see if maybe we can save ourselves a par here. That would be huge. <sighs> it's just not breaking. It's not breaking as much as I think it's going to. 
All right, we take our first bogey. Man, I was hoping to have a bogey for your round. I didn't practice. I, I feel actually extremely confident going into this. We had a pretty decent front nine, but uh, not quite good enough. That's kind of unfortunate. And we couldn't put it together for that one. All right, let's try to put this in close. This is probably going to finish just off the green. Yep. Which is fine. We get a nice little look at a chip here. Let's see if maybe we can put it in. Not red slowing it though. We'll get up and down. We'll take an up and down par. All right, let's get back on track here on this par five. This is the one that we're gonna go for. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. See, with this one, I can slightly red fast it and we'd still be all right, so. That's the only reason I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go for that one every time. Now we're going to try to hit the most beautiful four iron up into the screen. And I hope the wind carries it a touch. Oh, wind didn't carry it enough. It's one thing I was worried, especially with, uh, we were, we we're, uh, fading it in. But you kind of have to, so. You have to. This is the only thing I think out of this entire fast update that I think would have. Uh, I wish we would have had a little bit more of a penalty to. Um. Are the partial splash shots. They still get hit a little bit, but. I think a little bit more um, would have been good. The only thing, the, the only thing that I could see maybe stopping is the partial splash shots. I practice it to try to get a perfect on a partial splash shot. Is uh, I think I hit like one of fifty. It was something ridiculous. It's extremely hard. Uh, so I think that would, but that's also good because then you'd be chipping it more. So it's like, but maybe they saw it as like. Well, since it's so difficult to do, maybe we don't want to eliminate it, or at least with all of these changes, give people at least a chance to get up and down. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the thought was, but I think that was that's the one big thing that I think you know maybe could have been changed even more. It affects it a little bit, uh, and it may be because of like trajectories and flight paths, and you're not really with a splash, you're not getting it like super high. You know, maybe they, it was looked at as, uh, you know, it doesn't really do too much. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, it's gonna roll off the green, isn't it? Sit, sit, sit. Dang it. Dang it. All right, let's see if we can get a chip in. Just a slight slow, dude. If that wasn't a slow, that would have been beautiful. Just a touch slow. Now we're getting up and down. But again, that's all right. There's no bogeys. We need pars and birdies. Pars and birdies. Have I birdied every par five so far? I have, that's good. That's definitely uh, a big change over over round three, and that's for sure. Very big change over round three. This pin is extremely difficult. Probably one of my least favorite pins. <laughs> Cause uh, you mess this up. I've ended up like here and uh, that putt not good. 
You slow it, not good. You, you pretty much have to play it almost essentially safe and hope you get a good bounce and roll off of it. Because this, this is a pretty nasty pin. It's a little bit easier since we're hitting a pitching wedge from here. Uh, in my practice round, I think I was hitting a uh, eight iron, which made it a little bit more difficult. I was also hitting the back because I fasted a touch. That's in the water. 100%. Literally what I just said. What I just said. God dang it. What I said, don't do, and I did it. What a bummer. What a bummer. We had our blow up hole and it came here. Unless I can get make this for uh if we can make this for a a bogey, that would be absolutely huge. Slowed it. Double it is. Ah We had our one blow up, dude. Oh man, and it came out of slow. I knew it. Exactly what I said. That pin a pin's dangerous. That pin is dangerous. What a bad time for us to get a slow though. What an absolutely bad time for us to get a slow there. Especially since I've been hitting a lot of perfects here in round four. Um, man, that sucks. That really sucks. Should be all right. Yeah, that will be good. Well, let's try to get it back. I want to keep my streak of uh, birdies on par fives going, so. Ugh, bad time. A streak might end. Play an army golf again. All right, come on. We need this. I want to keep this going. 36. It's not breaking as much, though, on these... Uphill one, so I'm gonna actually dial it back a touch. It just hasn't been breaking on these. <sighs> Time I just hit it too hard. Dang it, par it is. Man, I was hoping. I was hoping I could birdie every par five. That would have been good. Alright, we can still end this. Maybe at a 30 under. Maybe at a 30 under. Got to hit a pretty good shot here. Get in the hole. God dang it. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Ugh. All right. I don't think we'll be able to get up there for an eagle, but... It would be great if we could. It's a tough shot in there if you want to go for an eagle, but... Don't go into the light rough. Okay, holy hell. But why not? You know, what do we have to lose? Let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen? We go in the water? Who cares? <laughs> Didn't get enough roll up the hill. 
Dang. Dang, dang, dang. We can still make this though. But that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, we just need to, we just needed it to sit a little bit longer and, and try to roll back. Yeah, that sucks. That's all right. Maybe we make this for Eagle, get, get ourselves to a 30. Get in there. Hey, hey, we did it. All right. Got ourselves back to a 30. Man, if we didn't have that double bogey. Oh, if we didn't have that double bogey, that would have been a really good round. That would have been one, an eight, I think an eight under. Yeah, it would have been an eight under round if we didn't have that one in the water. Or we could have had a good chance of getting a birdie. We could, probably could have been at a nine under. Ah, oh, that one, that one mess up. Overall though, we shot pretty good. The, I mean, the chips were good. Didn't have a too, too many red fast, which is good. Uh, overall, that was that was solid. Another six under. Ooh, somebody shot a plus one. Oh no, they're through seven. Oh, are they playing it right now? Anyways, not too bad for a tournament. Shot 30 under, 20 in the first two rounds, 10 in the second two. Conditions were harder, but also didn't shoot as well. You know, the new red fast is definitely going to take some time to get the hang of it. But I think the big thing for round three was, you know, going in for positions that I probably wouldn't go for it anymore. And then that getting us into trouble. And then this round is just really one bad shot. Honestly, it was probably overall one bad shot. But I think I'm going to be all right. And uh, I'm really excited to actually get back up to plat now. Because I just don't think the scores are going to be... Uh, as wild as they have been on plat, uh, especially with I think a lot of people on plat, you know, playing for the red fasts. Uh, some of them playing red fasts for all shots. Uh, I think it's going to shake it up a little bit. The good players are still going to be good. The great players are going to be great. Um, some might drop down a little bit, but just if some drop down, I might actually be able to hit some uh, consistent cuts. I mean, which would be awesome. That's what kind of what I'm shooting for at the end of the end of the day is just make consistent cuts. And I just couldn't do that on plat anymore. A, didn't play enough. And B, maybe the red fast came into play. Don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But people will adapt, just like always. The show will go on. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you're uh, enjoying the game. I know this has kind of reinvigorated my love for it, so... I'm pretty excited for the future and what it holds. But I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you on the next one.